Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install Hi-Fi Rush game from Xbox app or if you are unable to install it on Microsoft Store on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app. So open Microsoft Store. On the top right here, you can see a profile icon. Click on it, then click on sign out, then click on sign in. Now select the right account and then click on continue. It will be asking for your PIN or password. So enter the PIN or password over here and log in. Now open Xbox app on the top left here. You can see your profile icon. Click on it and then click on sign out. Then again click on sign in. Now use the same account which you have used on Microsoft Store. So log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app and then try to install the game. Also make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically is on over here. In Windows 10 you will find set time zone automatically make sure that is also on in windows 11 select the right time zone from here and then click on sync now make sure that you click on sync now and then go to region and make sure right country is selected over here now try to install the game now the next step is to if you're trying to install the game from xbox app then try to install it from microsoft store library so open microsoft store on the bottom left here you can see library click on library and you will find the game over here so if you find the game in the list so scroll down and find the game now once you find the game in front of it you will see the install option so try to install it from microsoft store library now if you are using microsoft store to install then use xbox app so open xbox app find the game and then you can search the game over here and then try to install the game from xbox app now the next step is to run this powershell command this command is provided in the video description so copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command hit the enter key and let the process complete now this process will take some time and during this process you will receive some errors in red color so if you see any errors in red color just ignore it and let the process complete. Now once done, close this window and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache file. For this, go to this location. So open File Explorer, then go to this PC, then open C drive, then open Users folder. And over here you will find your username folder. So open your username folder. Now open App Data folder. Now, if you don't see app data over here, then click on view, select show, and then put a check on the put a check on hidden items. Then you should be able to see app data. In Windows 10, somewhere over here, you will find view. So click on view. Now, once you select view, somewhere over here, you will find hidden items. Put a check on hidden items, and then you should be able to see app data. Open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now open the packages folder. Now scroll down. Now over here you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. So open this Windows Store folder. And then over here you can see local cache folder. Make a right click and then click on delete. And once this is deleted, restart your computer and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to repair or reset xbox app and microsoft store so for this type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app then click on app setting now this will open windows settings and then scroll down and here you can see the repair option so click on repair and after the repair you can open store or xbox app and then try to install the game if still you are facing the problem then perform reset so click on reset reset now after the reset you can open xbox app or microsoft store and then try to install the game do the same thing with microsoft store so make a right click on microsoft store and then click on app settings once again 
and this will again open Windows settings. Again, scroll down and click on repair. And after the repair, try to install the game, but still you are unable to install it. Then perform reset. So click on reset, reset. And after the reset, open Xbox app or Microsoft store and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to update Xbox app and store and other apps from store library. So open Microsoft store on your computer. Now on the bottom left here, you can see library options. So click on library. And then once you click on library on the right hand side, on top right here, you can see the option which says get updates. So click on get updates. And once all the updates are installed, try to install the game. Now the next step is to install Xbox identity provider and gaming services. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Xbox identity provider. Click on get or install and it will prompt you to open Microsoft store. So click on open Microsoft store and over here you will find Xbox identity provider. Now, if this is not installed, you will see the install option or get option. In my case, this is already installed. So there is no button over here. But in your case, if this is not installed, you will see install or get option. So install it. And after this, uninstall and reinstall gaming services. To uninstall gaming services, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. Now this will uninstall gaming services from your computer. And once done, now copy this command. Paste it on the same window. Hit the enter key. This will open Microsoft Store on your computer. And you will see the install option to install gaming services. Click on install. Click on yes to allow. And let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, now you can open Microsoft Store or Xbox app and then try to install the game. Now, the next step is to start all these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find IP helper in the list. Make a double click on IP helper. Set the startup type as automatic. Then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. Then click on OK. Now find Xbox services. So at the end here, you can see all the Xbox services. Make a double click on all the Xbox services one by one and set it to automatic. Then click on apply, click on start and then click on OK. Now again, make a double click, set it to automatic, apply, click on start, then click on OK. Again, automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Again, automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Windows update, make a double click on Windows update. Set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find gaming services in the list. Make sure gaming services are running. If not running, make a right click, then click on start. If it's already running, then make a right click and then stop it. And then we will restart the service. Make a right click, then click on stop. And then make a right click once again, click on start or restart. Make a right click once again, then click on start. Now find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click, set it to automatic, then click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply and then click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now try to install the game. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, go to the start menu, click on settings. Now click on Windows update or update and security, then click on Check for update and once you see the install option, install all the updates over here and after the installation, restart your computer. So once the update is installed, restart your computer and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. Click on it. This will open this black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store. So over here, you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. Now you can open Xbox app or store and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app in Microsoft Store. So for this, type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app, then click on uninstall. 
and then again click on uninstall and after the uninstall copy this command to uninstall microsoft store so type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key and this will uninstall microsoft, microsoft store from your computer and once it is uninstalled restart your computer and after the system restart copy this command and then again open powershell and then make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key this will reinstall microsoft store so now you can open store and after you open microsoft store you can install xbox app we have uninstall xbox app so if you want you can type in type in xbox app in the search box over here and then click on xbox app and then install xbox app and after the installation open xbox app and then try to install the game now the next step is to try installing the game to c drive or if you are already installing it to C drive, then try different drive. So for this, open settings and then go to system and then go to storage. Scroll down, click on advanced storage settings and then click on change or change where new content is saved. Click on it. Now over here, if you are installing the game to C drive, click over here and then select a different drive right now. I don't have any other drive connected. So if you are trying to install it to C drive, then you can try different drive. So click on this down arrow and select different drive. But in case if you are already trying to install it to D drive or other drive, then in that case, you can click on it and then select C drive and then click on apply and then try to install the game. Now the next step is to rename WP system and windows apps folder. Now to rename WP system folder, open file explorer on your computer, go to this PC, open D drive. Now over here you can see WP system. When you try to rename it, you won't be able to rename it because you will receive some kind of error message that you are not allowed. Now, so make a right click on WP system folder and then select properties, go to the security tab. We will go ahead and take the ownership of this folder. So go to security tab and then click on advanced. Now click on change over here and then type in everyone over here everyone and then click on check names then click on ok now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply ok 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 and then again make a right click on wp system folder select properties once again go to the security tab once again click on advanced once again now this time click on add over here and then click on select a principal. Now type in everyone once again and then check names. Okay. Now put a check on the box which says full control and then click on okay. Apply. Okay. Okay. So now you can rename it, make a right click, then click on rename, rename it as WP system dot old. Now still your face problem in that case you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to rename it once again open file explorer and then go to this pc open d drive then make a right click on windows apps and then rename it now before rename you have to take the ownership make a right click then click on properties go to security tab advanced now click on change over here type in everyone in the box now click on check names then click on ok now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply ok ok again ok again make a right click on windows apps select properties security tab advanced and this time click on add select a principal everyone check names ok put a check on the box which says full control ok apply ok ok now make a right click on windows apps and then click on rename and then rename it as windows apps dot old now while renaming it if you receive any kind of 
error message which says file is open. In that case, open task manager on your computer. Make a right click on the start menu. Click on task manager. Now if you find gaming services, make a right click and then click on end task. And also open services over here. And then go to services and find gaming services. Make a right click on gaming services. Click on stop. So in my case, it's not running. So let me go ahead and yeah. So make a right click then click on stop. Again, make a right click and then click on stop. Make sure gaming services is not running. And then you can go ahead and try to rename is at as windows apps dot old. Once the rename is done, make a right click and then start the service. Now the next step is to run inet cpl dot cpl command. So type in inet cpl.cpl in windows search box then click on init cpl.cpl now go to the advanced tab scroll down here you can see use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 1.2 1.3 make sure all four are checked and then click on apply then click on ok now try to install the game now the last step is to update your windows to the latest version using media creation tool if you have Windows 10, copy this link. If you have Windows 11, copy this link. Windows 10 users, go to this website. Here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Tool now and then run this exe file. Then you will see the screen. Click on Accept. By default, upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on Next. It will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install and once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this game successfully on your Windows computer from Xbox app or Microsoft store. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.